Hi there, I'm new to the forums and uh, I've been reading posts about people asking how to make a game level for Unity. Um, it seems a Blender is a really popular choice because it's free. Um, you can use Maya or 3ds Max or whatever you need to use in whichever operating system you have. Now, um, but I choose to use neither of them. Um, they don't excel at creating game levels as much as game assets like props and things so with that said um, I like to show you a program called world edit um, monolith productions the people who made fear and fear 2 um, their world editor is free uh, you can get it with fear combat which is also a free game to download uh, the SDK is where you get this editor from now uh, it doesn't have as many features as 3ds Max does or Maya, um, so bear in mind it is a bit limited in that regard. However, it excels at pretty much everything else, including um, building a level. Really, I mean, it's it's the best program out there. So I'm going to take you through the the interface here, and uh, we're going to create a new world, and uh, we're just going to create a new world called uh, Tutorial. And we're presented with four viewports, which is great. Uh, many applications, you, they default to one. And really, for making a game level, you need viewports. <laughs> um, the grid is adjustable per window. You can see it highlight whichever one I'm in. So let's go ahead and uh, expand the grid here. As you can see, it changes. Um, you make your geometry based on grid points. You cannot go off the grid points. Well, you can, but you won't need to. Um, so, for example, we're going to switch into. Um, hold on here. I got to get some toolbars out. Our main toolbar and our world edit toolbar. And let's also get out our edit mode toolbar. This is the one I want. So you can make a brush which is if you guys have used hammer or um, quark, uh, radiant, a brush is just a, a box pretty much. So let's go ahead and create a box and we can click brush, add primitive, let's add a box. And we're going to make a thickness of 500. As you can see we now have a box in the viewport. However, for making levels, building with Legos, as I call them, isn't exactly easy. And it's pretty time consuming. So, with World Edit, we can actually flip the normals on any brush or polygon that we want. So, we can just hit F and we flip it right, right inside out. And uh, from this point on, we're going to add a base material to it. I'm going to add the grid material. And. Uh, you can move inside the cube. The camera controls for a world that are really easy. I pans your view. If you hold down right click, you can move up and down. And that's it for the I key. The O key, you can look around. If you hold down click, you can move. But it's easier to use I and O at the same time to navigate around. Same goes for the viewports. O zooms in and out. I pans. So it's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and select our brush. As you can see, it um, changes color when we have it selected. We can uh, press Control J to split apart each face. Then you can go inside and select whichever face you like and do operations to it, just like so. So to give you an idea of how powerful this uh, editor is, we're going to delete that. And I'm going to create a new box, actually a plane, just a single polygon in the viewport. My grid is set to one meter. That's about, in fear units as well as unity, um, think of one meter as one person wide. It translates really well, I've, I've found. Um, so if you guys need to find your own scaling method, be my guest. But this one has worked for me. So I'm going to make a room that is uh, 10 meters wide. So 
pretty simple nice little square and I'm placing these points with spacebar as you can see it took uh, four points to make a four pointed polygon really um, you can have as many points as you want but as soon as it turns purple like that we have a concave polygon and the editor doesn't like that um, avoid these at all costs do not make them if I uh, go over to it um, you can kinda see it made there's some clipping issues here The just don't do that however you can make various other things Oh, seem to have deleted everything <laughs> okay there we go so with this selected um, we can go back into brush mode and we can draw lines with spacebar again however now I'm gonna draw two lines and then press S what this does is splits your plane into splits it wherever you want it pretty much we can select these two uh, polygons spacebar spacebar S and you can split it into whatever size of polygon you want now I'm gonna select these and I'm gonna join them with uh, shift J um, I'm gonna go into geometry editing mode now this I can select each individual vertex as well as the edge I can tag the uh, vertexes of each polygon with the Y key so you can see they turned yellow uh, but I'm gonna grab this middle vertex and I'm going to zoom in right here and I'm gonna hold down B B is the um, move selected vertex I can simply just move it up just like so and that's pretty quick and easy however notice we have a few little problems here uh, these two faces have translated very well these two have kind of not they, they didn't translate at all very well so I'm gonna go back into brush mode control J to split this apart again I'm gonna grab this brush and split it manually and as you can see we now have proper faces like so and we're gonna split it all and join it all back so now we have an object and uh, it's pretty powerful it's pretty quick now we can also drag a vertex points around with the V key and in each viewport you can 3d view or the 2d views so let's go ahead and just drag these out a little bit like so and as you can see we have a interesting little shape here and it took pretty much no time at all to build in this basic level editor so how do I make a level you say well stay tuned for uh, the next part and I'll show you how to make your little first world in world edit and how to export it as well as import it into unity so you guys can use it Thank you, and uh, stay tuned for next time.